I've been here in Williamsburg for the last 18 years, and the gallery's been open 14 years. Um, so in that period of time being in Williamsburg, we've met a lot of these artists, because a lot of these artists moved to Williamsburg for their studio spaces, and it became a real community of artists. Well, this collection that we have here now is our personal collection. This uh, work that you're going to see is more or less, uh, over the last five years or so, what we've been uh, pulling together. And we, we put it together as a, as a show, as a, a current exhibition of things so we can show people what uh, we're up to, really. I think we um, usually tend to gravitate towards the same things. This was a piece that we had an exhibition and it didn't sell. And we kept saying this is such a great piece. You know, maybe we should get it. I think we usually, not always, but usually, um, similar taste. Yeah, kind of gravitate towards the well, same thing. This piece in particular, this Donald Clements piece, um, the scale is sort of uh, problematic for a lot of collectors. It's, it's almost more of a museum type of, uh, piece, and uh, it's a bit eccentric. And uh, being a gallerist, I just kind of lean in that way anyway. I like the really kind of extremes that the artists get themselves involved in. This is a uh, Dewanatron. It's built by Brian Dewan and Leon Dewan, his cousin. We had a, a show of these, maybe about 15 of them, on a New Year's for a New Year's Eve opening. And uh, the artist did play Ole Lang Syne on these, but <laughs> the rest of the time people just went crazy on these and they had a really wonderful time. But I'm just into it for the uh, experience of it. And, James Siena, and it's a beautiful piece. It was a piece that we first shown uh, maybe 12 years ago. Uh, the first show of James is in New York, uh, at the gallery next door with the, the gallery space in Pierogi, and um, it was a, it's, it's something we're very fond of because it was one of those first acquisitions that we had, and we bought two pieces of, you know, during the show. This is a great example of his work, and he's uh, still working now. He's at, at Pace Gallery. So that was really nice, and this is his um, cow patty with uh, psilocybin and mushrooms. But so this is all um, completely fabricated by him. He cast. He'll take actual mushrooms, make detailed casts of them, paint them. Well, we met through. We were. It was sort of a setup. Uh, an old friend of mine, who um, I had known for a while, and her brother um, was one of the owners of the building next door, and she just met Joe quickly once but she just thought, you know, something. And so she invited us over to dinner with some other people. And she didn't want to have anything to do with me at dinner, so. <laughs> it took me a while, I walked her home, so that was a good way to meet. This is a, um, one of his um, dip paintings. So again, he developed a machine, actually several um, machines um, that would dip different size canvases. So he would develop a, a computer program and a um, system to hold the canvases dip them into a, a long, narrow vat of paint, and then pull them back up. And um, based on the computer program, would let them rest for a certain amount of time, then dip them again at different depths. So that's why it ends up getting these sort of um, stratification lines. So Tavares uh, Strawn is his name. He's Bahamian. It's, and this piece is a beer bottle piece um, in a vitrine. And it's a click uh, bottle, which is a beer in the Bahamas. And it's a bottle that he found smashed in the street. So he took that uh, bottle and he reproduced every broken piece to be duplicated. So it's about this idea of uh, order and chaos, but taking this really this garbage on the street and making it into this uh, uh, amazing sort of simulacra. This is our salon wall, uh, so we like to hang a lot of things in one spot. So this is a group I could just maybe show you a few things on the wall. Um, maybe on the bottom left here I could start. This is an artist, uh, Lawrence Weiner, a very famous uh, conceptual artist. 
Uh, I myself make artwork and I use text in my work and I tip my head every time I work with text because Lawrence really uh, allowed artists to work with text in their work. And then we just go up here to uh, Lynn Talbot, who's a, a young artist in, in uh, Greenpoint in Williamsburg here. And we show her work as well. And, uh, Johan Nobel above is uh, an artist that's out of Stockholm and uh, we show his work, represent his work, beautiful uh, kind of cartoon style uh, landscape work. And below this is Fred Tomaselli, uh, a, a good friend and a great artist. And this is a piece that he did uh, for Pierogi Press for the cover, so it's a very special piece for us. And Ryan Rosowski, who's a, a very young artist that we're just starting to show and starting to collect his work. Uh, figurative-based uh, artist with very amazing sort of narratives. Yun Fei Ji, a small piece, he works very large as well, shows uh, different galleries in town here. Uh, down here we have uh, uh, Jane Fine, beautiful piece. Uh, it's a, acrylic on board, using these abstract elements as well as these refined uh, works with marker. This piece, uh, David Sher, is really, he's an amazing artist. He's, uh, influenced me uh, as, uh, in many ways as an artist and, uh, and what's possible in, in making art. And, uh, the far top right is at least a Carezzi, a, a great photographer, um, young and uh, uh, very classy, looks great. Mm -hmm. This is a, a burlesque series that she worked with. And here's a early Amy Silman, she's a good friend as well and uh, that's a beautiful piece. I wish we could afford her works now, but uh, uh, we're lucky to have that one. And um, this is Jim Torek. Uh, his uh, are these little narrative, these storyboards that he puts together in a very cartoon style. And these are, this represents him. But th I guess this is how he sees himself. But he's, uh, they're, uh, they're amazing once you get into them and read them. He also does these beautiful portraits as well. So this gives you a sense of uh, a salon wall. And my uh, friend and uh, the dealer out in... Um, Leipzig, the director there calls them saloon walls, and maybe that's the better <laughs> name for them.